It's a star-studded night here in Chennai at Satyabama University. We're at halftime of the South Division play-in game. Bengaluru with a seven-point lead. We saw Syria with the trophy and managing partner Todd Mack. And it's a great day of basketball. Paul Crane back alongside Victor Howell. And the winner of this game goes to Goa to play the Pune Peshwas in a best two out of three semifinal series. The loser has its season come to an end, but not everyone who loses will be unable to continue playing. Yeah, it's been an uh, up and down first half with Hyderabad Sky. It got out of the gates a little slow, and right now we've seen the Bengaluru Beast dominating in the paint so far, 38 to 24. A lot of that is from Pal Preet. Yes, he's taking some outside shots, but he has found his comfort zone down there in the paint. Manu Thomas has been in, in foul trouble. He's taken a ghost two or three times down to the basket. The big challenge for the Hyderabad Sky right now is going to have to be how do they adjust to stop him from attacking in the paint. They've tried to get fouls on him. Tevin Kelly's taken it at him time and time again. I don't know if that's going to be enough to get him in trouble. They have to keep their big man out of the paint. Well, before we go back to looking at this game, there's a new game that's going to be coming up in the UBA when we get to Goa on the 16th of March. The first ever UBA All-Star game earlier tonight. We announced the 15 players from the North Division who will play an All-Star team from the South Division. And here they are. And it's no surprise to see the dazzling Agu on the All-Star team. From the players we're watching tonight, Chris Solomon is out there. These are in alphabetical order from their first names. Amrit Paul Singh, who we're going to see in Goa as the Pune Peshwas play in that play-in game. And J. Ram Jat, he's had himself another fine season. He did. He and Agu were challenged so much down the stretch to try to advance the Chennai Slam to have the right to defend that title. Of course, there are a couple of players from the Hyderabad Sky we're looking at right now. And Narendra Grawal, what more can you say about Narendra, who stepped up when big Amrit Paul, who's also an all-star, did not make the final game with the title on the line and an automatic pass to Goa and the render showed why he is the reigning MVP in the UBA. Well, Paul Preet and Vashesh from the Bengaluru Beast, and of course, you know Tevin Kelly was gonna be an all-star, right? But Pierre Newton, who did such a nice job all season long, and especially last night, joining Sidhant Shinde as an all-star. And how about those Chennai Slam players who picked themselves up after Brendan Pineda went down with that early injury. Certainly Ram Kumar did it that very first time with 27 points in the game. And we saw Ricken really come into his own down the stretch of the season. Again, it should be a lot of fun. Not only will you see some great games and talent for teams that are out there trying to win that coveted trophy, but you start putting all that talent in the North Division against all of this talent in the South Division, and you say, guys, let's go put on a basketball exhibition, have some fun, nobody get hurt. Oh, it's going to be a fantastic event. Cannot wait. And hey, if you wanted a UBA t-shirt tossed to you by the star Syria, you needed to be here tonight. The Bengaluru Beast up seven at halftime. <laughs>